Okay, so this is Treen 3, the Linux version of which is officially released today. Um, I have tried playing it with my Steam controller, but I had, it was a bit weird. I couldn't work out what the keys were. Uh, so I'm hoping... I've just plugged my Xbox controller in. Our um, story began. I'm hoping that it makes it a, a little more easy to understand. The highest place of wizardly learning in all the kingdom. The Academy housed magical secrets in its vaults, and the wizards had vowed to protect them from falling into the wrong hands. A fiercely persistent monster that set its mind upon penetrating the fight. How odd. The monster is immune to our magic. With all these recent incidents around the Academy, I'm beginning to think we need outside assistance. I will be free. Let's send for help. What we need is our heroes. So, clearly, Train 3, it's a sequel. It's, uh, Train 2 was actually something like oh, it still says button 16 I have no idea what button 16 is supposed to be I think it's one of the trigger buttons so yeah Trin 2 was one of the first 10 Linux games I bought in this uh, you know steam driven renaissance of Linux gaming uh, so I'm not counting games I bought back in the old days like uh, uh, Unreal Tournament and uh, and never went to nights, but this was, you know, Frozen Byte, the developers made all available pretty early on in the uh, in in the whole sort of timeline of uh, Linux gaming. With trouble in the kingdom, who could <coughs> save the day? Why, of course, the three heroes of our story. Amadeus, Pontius, and Zora. So, Once if you've not time, seen the first two games, they had all lived ordinary, unremarkable well, we lives. Story in the background. Fates of kingdoms hadn't hung They're in They're basically 2D uh, physics-based puzzle platform games. Their lives forever. When they had discovered Trine, the artifact of soul. Uh, Trine 3, sorry, Trine, if that's how you pronounce it, has switched to a full 3D engine rather than a 2D engine. Pontius, a stout hearted knight and protector of the common folk, was busy at work. He was tracking a thief who had abducted a sheep from a poor peasant family. The no good bandit is hiding somewhere in these ravines. I'll catch him. And save that sheep. Or my name isn't Pontius the Brave. Oh, there we go. So, as you may be aware, if you've uh, done any graphics, or whatever, 3D isn't just 50% more dimensions than 2D. It's more like, you know, a relationship of squares. So, uh, how do I get up there? There we go. So, if 2D is complexity, is a complexity of uh, 4, button 18. No. Ah, oh, there we go. Trigger is button 18. If 2D is a complexity of 4, then 3D is more like a complexity of 9. Ooh. So it's not... It's not simply... Ooh. 
it's not uh, a simple case of uh, a little bit more work. It's a lot more work. I'll plow through these caves and find that nasty thief. And I think this caught them out of it. Cool. Not sure what button four is. Is that a button four? Oh. Cool. Does that mean we could have exploded those things back down there? Maybe. Maybe we could. So yeah, there have been a lot of complaints about this being much shorter than the uh, the uh, first two games. And uh, a lot of that, I think, is down to them uh, biting off a bit more than they could chew with this full 3D environment malarkey. Uh, still not figured out how to get up there. Maybe I can do something over here. And I'll let you go. Oh, but this is my sheep. You must be confusing me with someone else, good sir. I... I must say I'm sorry for threatening you. <laughs> My mistake. Have you seen the same looking sheep mm -hmm. as that around these parts? They'd have been stolen by a goblin who looks an awful lot like you. Well, you see, I stole this sheep from a completely different farm. Oops. You. Heaving blagger. And as you can see from watching me flail around, 3D is a lot harder to do in a platform game and do it right. So here I'm just, I did manage to get up there a minute ago. But anyway, I'm sorry, this is actually the first time I've booted this game up, so it's possible I'm getting a bit distracted. Ooh. A bit distracted actually playing it rather than telling you what's going on. But uh, clearly, I'm collecting these triangle train things. Okay. Is button one? Is that button one? Now, the controller directions are quite ups <laughs> difficult to follow when you don't know what buttons are which. So, can we assume at this point I need to jump off, or perhaps I need to slide down something? I don't know. No, oh, no. That was the wrong thing to do. So we'll have to sit here and figure out what button one is. That's not it. That's not it. That's what I did before. What could button one be? Uh, 
Not sure. Okay, so I think that might be a switch. I'm not entirely sure. I can't work out what button one is on my Xbox controller. It's not the top button. It's not that button. Not that button. Oh, maybe it's that button. Ah. So that perhaps is what I'm supposed to do. A true knight doesn't give up. There we go. So where am I heading next? I'm flying with my shield, which is quite cool. I'm picking up these uh, triangle things for bonus points. And you probably can more or less see what the game is about now. Now, like I said, 3D, 3D platforming is a tricky thing to get right. And it does seem, oops, it does seem from the Steam reviews, in many people's opinions, They've not really got got this whole thing right yet. But essentially I got Treen 1 and Treen 2 in total for £3.80 or something. Because I got them in sales for massive discounts. Good thing I have my trusty kite shield. Kite shield. Dearly me. Ah. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do. Ah, that's what I'm supposed to do. Not that sturdy. Button four. No. Ah, oh, cool. So in 2D, it was all fairly straightforward. 3D, it's a lot more complicated as far as actually working out where you're going is concerned. What else can I knock down? Missed him. But gameplay-wise, it does seem to me like... Aha! It does seem to me like they've captured the spirit of the original games in this 3D I'm not sure what access for Oops Shouldn't have done that At this and I think something that's supposed to be a shield oh there we go there we go there we go yeah interesting right but you can see it does make it quite awkward to control your character. And I suppose I think I'm supposed to smash these up. Ooh, there's one of that. Because you quite often can't tell. You 
can't tell exactly where you are in reference to uh, the things you're looking at because of the, the 3D. There's that blasted thief! That poor sheep is about to end up as goblin grub if I don't do something. I didn't really see the thief, but I'll take his word for it. So yeah, that's a game. I think this one's certainly flawed. That's a series. That's a series. It's definitely worth checking out. All three games are on sale. If you've uh, never played any of them, then now is your opportunity to give them all a try. I think I think it's possible that Train Two is a better game than this. 42. Button 1, button 2. Hey, look at that. Drop your fork and dinner knife. This sheep is going back home with me. Uh, excuse the uh, excuse the Linux user group stuff going on. Oh, there's more of them. We're just going to hack them up. Hacking them up. Jump out of the way. Have I destroyed them all? Yes, I have. What a hero I am. That's the end of that. Let's set you free. So I only got 42 of 50, was it? Of the train things. So it is like uh, many platform adventures. It's uh, necessary to uh, discover the hidden areas and all that sort of thing. You can go back later and find the ones you've missed or redo the levels. Like I said, I presume this is the whole game laid out here. I need 60 to unlock that, right. Two hundred to unlock that. One hundred to unlock that, okay. 150. So yes, opinion opinion is generally that this switch to 3D hasn't improved the basic gameplay. Certainly the controller support is a bit lacking. I couldn't get it to work well with my Steam controller at all. I just couldn't figure out what, what button was supposed to correspond to which thing. The Xbox controller is a bit more intuitive, but you're still guessing, essentially, what, what button 16 is at this point. Um, all three games are on sale. I think if you've not got any of them, it's still worth buying the trilogy. I mean, this it's not a terrible game. It's just not as good as Train 2, which is a pretty high bar to be set, in my opinion. Um, so, yeah, I think it's worth supporting the developer. It's the developer that um, supports Linux, clearly. And I would like to see the next game they make. So, I... You know, I've bought all the games, or all the Linus ones anyway, and I would recommend you do the same. <laughs>